And managing yourself. This is really a discipline that comes internally, and it's, it's kind of intrinsic. It's a little bit harder to teach, but I want to give you guys a few key takeaways um, of something that'll help you. So the IQEQ continuum, I talk about this a lot. I've been talking about it a lot over my years at at and but I felt very validated because our CEO, John Stanky, just talked about it in LWD. So what is the IQEQ continuum? Well, I think we all know IQ, intellectual quotient. But what is EQ? That's your emotional quotient, also known as emotional intelligence. So we think of it like an iceberg. IQ is just the tip of the iceberg. That might be what you see when you read someone's resume or when you meet somebody for the first time. But the reality is there's so much more to them underneath. So IQ determines about 20 to 25 percent of business success. EQ actually determines the rest. And another way to think about that is IQ will get you hired and EQ will get you promoted. Operational discipline. This is a day-to-day -day habit that you need to develop for yourself. It's simple things like responding to emails, communicating effectively, making sure your boss knows what you're working on, being on time, not being on your phone while someone else is speaking. I know all that sounds very obvious, but you'd be surprised how these little things can really change people's perception about you. So get really disciplined. So that operational discipline will lead to being operationally excellent. And quantify your results. So I talked about financials. That's one good way to quantify your results. If you can tie your results to the balance sheet or the income statement, that's great. Um, and then there's also ways to show it in this format. So I like to think of it as star. Situation, task, action, result. So the star formula, easy, easy to remember. But make sure you write your bullets on your resume like that. A lot of people, you, you'll read it, it'll say like, I worked on this project and uh, with this team. Well, that doesn't really tell me anything. What did you specifically do? What was the outcome? Quantify, quantify, quantify. And when you're setting your goals, or the organization sets their goals, but you're writing your own end of year review, and then your boss will do your appraisal, make sure everything's quantified in there too. Did you save time? Did you avoid costs? Did you grow revenue? There's a lot of different ways to quantify results, but start thinking about some of those in the way that you um, talk about your own work. And then build your personal brand. So you heard Santos talk about what is the AT&T brand. I've been in some very random places around the world, and I say I work at AT&T, and people know exactly what that brand is. That's because there's a strong, it's a strong legacy brand. It's been around for almost 150 years. People have a perception of what that brand means. Well, you also have a brand, and people have a perception about you, and what your work is like, or what you're like as a person. And it's your job, with the help of your manager, to manage that brand so that when someone says your name, there's a positive um, reinforcement at the end of that. So I want to leave you with one quote that I think is really important. And it's that often the most important conversations about your career happen when you're not in the room. So I want to leave you with, think about your personal brand, how you fit into at and and we're so excited to have all the future students here. We know there's such an amazing talent pipeline here, and we're so happy to introduce our brand to you all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for that diversified